It is my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to you the President-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. This is Aaron Curley with CalTV News. With the announcement of Donald Trump's victory, the city of Berkeley broke out into multiple protests. In the morning, students from Berkeley High School marched across the UC campus, demanding equality and an end to discrimination. The undocumented student community at Cal, surrounded by allies, hosted their own demonstration against discrimination. I can't really say I'm enjoying it, but I understand what people are going through. For me, like I'm not an illegal immigrant, but I understand the fear that's been put out for towards people. Because when I woke up, I was hoping that this should be a dream, but it's not. It's honestly heartbreaking to think that so many people support his ideals and what he stands for. For a lot of us, people like me, a white straight male, it's kind of important to uh, actually listen to people who are actually going to be affected by a Trump presidency and kind of follow their lead and not co-opt any sort of uh, any sort of movement. After the protest, we asked people about the next four years. It's exposed how divided the country really is, you know, and it just shows us how much we really have to work together and just be there for support um, because it's, it's, it's difficult for many of us the gay marriage that might be repealed. Uh, but then again, I honestly wish he would try to do that because the LGBT community is so prepared to fight something like that. As an environmental science major, I'm really concerned about climate change and Trump's promised to do a lot of horrible things and take a lot of funding away from climate science, so I'm, I'm concerned. He has control of the Senate, he has control of the House. I think he can do a lot in these four years and I don't know if that's good or bad. There's too many what ifs. You know, what if he does this? What if he does that? There's so many, there's women's rights, you know, LGBTQ rights, the Hispanic rights, black rights, Muslim rights, immigrant rights on the line, and there's too many what ifs. Unfortunately, no Trump supporter was willing to comment. What would you do if you saw a clown? 